You know it was me. Caller ID. I, I don't know what that is. It's new. Tells me who's calling. Huh, that's uh that's some real fancy stuff you got there. Uh-huh. Listen, I'm busy. Why are you calling? Well, I just uh hadn't talked in a while. Can't we just... Can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? How are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse because, God forbid, I actually look after my sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you and you put her in a home. I, no, I, I didn't know what to do. The doctors there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some terrifying boogeyman. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what? So, what? You didn't love her anymore? Hmm. Don't you dare. You gave her up. You gave her up to doctors and nurses. You know what they do to people in homes. It was the best home money could buy. Money. You and your damn money. Cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. Hey. I loved you both. I did everything for you, everything. Yeah, right. Bill, I, I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B B Bill, Bill, I just, I just called to say... Say what? Sorry? Did you know I visited her? I found out where you put her, and I visited her. Uh, they said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. She wept and she sobbed and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? Feeding your heritage breed pigs? No, 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 Bill, Bill, I... Save them. Talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. I just wanted to t tell you goodbye, Bill. I I've got some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. I'm still trying. Listen, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just uh, 
uh, I'm on a tight schedule, and uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, all right? A favor? Sure. What you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? I was uh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh, uh... Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there. Sorry. Cats. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, yeah, the animals. Uh, I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. B but if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all. Not at all. We're happy to be imposed upon. You've been a good neighbor for so long. I'm glad you called me today. In fact, just the other day, I said to Garth, I said, if we don't visit, then we should host. Thank you, yeah, Say, oh, hey, you should drop on by next Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids, and I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. Oh, I appreciate the thought, Edie. I don't think I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Oh, it's, uh, it's been real nice being welcomed back. But now I gotta go. You know, chores and such. You know how it is. Oh, I sure do. Well, come on over sometime. Just got some gooseberries in. We're making pies, and we'd love to have you. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> that they are. Gotta go now. See ya. Granny Smith, just like you like. Good boy. Good boy. You've been real good to me. You know that? Mm-hmm. Brought me a lot of good luck. Good times. Without you, I don't, uh, well, I do not know. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. You want to leave, you go find someone else. I figure I'll just, uh, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> 